Okay, the first person who has signed up to speak is Mr. Damon Barone. He's speaking on the agenda. Mr. Barone, we do understand uh, the lag in the um, in the timing. So um, yeah. in the last 30 seconds, I will say 30 seconds so that we can catch up with it. Um, okay. Are you ready, Mr. Barone? I am. Damon, are you ready? You can go. You're ready. Yes, I'm ready. You can go. I'm ready. Greetings, Damon Barone, a 5 d parent, taxpayer, and alumnus. You may proceed. During the, during the April 6, 2021 school board meeting, a 5 d Director of Professional Growth and Improvement, Janine Hope, talked about implicit biases within a 5 d The district's risk load assessment affirms that there are, program, that there are problems with the leadership in a 5 d The district's equity audit reinforces those same concerns with the district's leadership and Dr. Rayanne Amin, ALEAF's Assistant Superintendent of School Improvement and Accountability, stated during the January 19, 2021 school board meeting that 17% of ALEAF ISD's African American students were an astounding four years behind in their education here in our district, and that the district needs more equity based initiatives. Coach Henry David Chambers, Jr., in baseball, they called this three strikes and your leadership is out. Unfortunately, everyone is failing to address the elephant in the room and what may actually be the root of the inequities of a leaf ISD's leadership and the subject of Dr. Roger Cleveland's findings in the district's equity assessment audit. This being the fact that a leaf ISD has a 58-year-old white male from Vider, Texas, running our district, whose claim to fame is being a baseball coach who has never taught in a classroom, only has a master's degree, has no doctoral degree, and is making over $400,000 per year to be the superintendent of a district of color. 96.6% children of color to be exact. Under Coach H.D. Chambers' 10-year A-Leaf ISD VITER training, our 96.6% children of color are academically failing and leaving the district, while Coach Chambers' implicit biases are, are in charge of who gets hired, who gets promoted, who gets fired, who gets the job that he creates in our district, how policies and procedures are implemented, and who gets to represent the district and our community to the public, what messages are conveyed to the public and staff, and let's not forget Coach H.D. Chambers' favorite implicit bias, what programs get tested on our community. If I were to stick to the proverbial underhand pitch of a -Leaf district leadership implicit biases, one only has to refer back to the March 2nd, 2021 school board meeting where the Deputy Superintendent of Business Services referred to American citizens coming from Louisiana to a -Leaf as refugees. I will encourage all of you to look up the definition of what, what a refugee is, then consider the demographics of those American citizens who were called refugees. During the April 6, 2021 school board meeting, it amazed me how Coach H.D. Chambers, in his usual and customary form and in great detail, was always able to rattle off so much information about legislative bills and data as it related to the state of Texas and what goes on in Austin. Yet when questions are asked, of information and data related to a -Leaf ISD, the responses are never immediately known, and the information is always stated that it will be provided at a later date in board notes, which the public never gets to see or hear. To make matters worse, the district makes contradicting statements and assumes that either the public is not listening or that we are just not astute enough to make the connections of the lies that are being told to us. During the April 6, 2021 school board meeting, while discussing House Bill 1468 regarding virtual learning, Coach H.D. Chambers' passion for politics in Austin caused him to slip a secret out to the public when he stated that children living in Amarillo, Texas, were currently attending school virtually here in Ailey ISD. Yet during the January 19, 2021 school board meeting when Coach H.D. Chambers was discussing the flip side of the Senate bill, he and his administrators were attempting to incite panic in our community and among the staff and among staff by stating that 5,000 A-Leaf ISD students were missing, as if the students just vanished off the face of the earth, as opposed to those students clearly being enrolled in other school districts, states, or countries, because their access to online learning and A-Leaf ISD being the only district that started school early in the middle of a worldwide pandemic. A-Leaf ISD's leadership forced our kids to come back to school early, and then the school board turned around and became scared to meet face-to-face -face while approving poor decisions for our kids, poor decisions for our families, and poor decisions for our community, all of which occurred after the district spent our tax money on plexiglass dividers to protect the school board, and the, and the board disregarded the intent of its proper use while district students, 
teachers, bus drivers, and custodians remain and still remain unprotected. Maybe it's time for our district. Thirty seconds. Get, maybe it's time for our district to get a new head coach and some relief pitchers to close out this season here in A Leaf. Damon Barone, A Leaf ISD parent, taxpayer, and alumnus. Thank you.